everyone. Welcome to uh, Age of Empires 2 HD Edition. I don't even know what the forgotten is. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the next game on my list. Well, they're going to be technical. Age of Empires 3 was on the list first. But this is before Age of Empires 3. So we're going to play this one first, and then we'll play 3. I don't know if I'm going to beat it. I have no idea. But I know that I'm going to... Uh... Start with... William Wallace, the learning campaign. It's just a tutorial, but it has story. Age of Empires 2 is about empire building, combat and conquest. You start from humble beginnings, a small village in the Dark Ages. You explore to expand your borders, conduct trade to boost your economy, and research technologies to grow your civilization into a mighty empire. But there are difficulties too. Cunning enemies and rivals that oppose you. Powerful castles to destroy. Tyrants to bring down. And if you're skillful and a little lucky, you just might build a wonder of the world and create an empire that will stand the test of time. To learn how empires are built, help our first hero, William Wallace, in his fight against his oppressors. We are without a leader. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, where Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns to conquer Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. Well, we must act soon. If we have any chance of resistance, we need to forge an army by any means necessary. All right, this first one's gonna be real easy. The English are terrorizing all of Scotland. All of Scotland. It's time for us to fight back. But if we're to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. Now, right click near the blue flag. Good. Now, move to the next flag. Click the soldier, then right click near the flag. One thing that doesn't work Excellent. is uh, pressing A and so then left click. To the next flag, that is a. Uh, Moving into the black area. I don't know what game did it first, but that's a Starcraft the black game. Black area represents unexplored territory. Oh, that's work? all there is to it. Now go on to the next flag where you'll meet some allied soldiers. To move all your soldiers at once, click near the units and drag around then attack click to move try moving your soldiers to the next flag did all your units make it to the flag nope the overhead is guarded by an english outpost scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the attack. screen then click the red outpost this may take a little bit right click the outpost to attack is this a knight or a... yeah okay We did it! The outpost is destroyed! What's this? Deer! Kill the deer! Evil deers? Home sweet home. Alright. Wait! The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost! Well, that's too bad, isn't it? Coming to attack your village! Kill him. What are you doing? Right -click the there you go. To attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers, 
and you will have won your first battle. I won my first battle. Good job. Now you know how to fight back against the English army. I do, I do. You are victorious. Hey, I got achievements. Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. That should but indicate that I've never played this game on here in the last. Chance, we will need many more recruits, much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be steeped in the blood of clansmen. Oh no, what am I doing? Wait, I did play all these. An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we've cobbled together will collapse again. Look at that face. I guess I did play this. I guess the achievement sport and I think build up your stockpile when the game resources. first came out. To win, gather 50, 50 food, 50, 50 wood, food, and 50 gold. And gather food from the forage bush. Click a village. Then right, right click the forage right. bush near Here. the blue flag. In the status area at the bottom of the screen, oh? you can see how much food the villager is carrying. The villager continues to gather from the forage bush until he's carrying ten food. Can't build a farm yet. The villager will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town center. The amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold, and stone stockpiles. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Assign your new villagers to gather food. Good! You found some gold! Found some gold. I need to get 50 food, 50 wood, 50 gold, so I might as well. Take a little bit. I'll help with the wood. <laughs> These first parts of this campaign are pretty slow. It is a tutorial after all. Oh, he never did put in Excellent. food. You now have enough gold. Good job. You now have enough wood. For your right. Cold. Cold tea again. Are you the one? No. Are you the one? I guess not. I guess I messed up and... Oh well. You go help with the food. This is a fat beat though. I'll just stand there. Fucking find something to forge. Why are you only out there? Great! You know yeah. 50 food. To win, also gather 50, 50 wood, wood and 50 gold. A one. Edward Longshanks, for all his disrepute, has shown military tactics in Wales, England, and France to be very effective. If not cruel and ruthless, he's indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick upon Tweed. Would that I could call it a battle! Is this town called Berwick upon Tweed? Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow! 
I pray we can be ready for long shanks coming. That's gross. In villages throughout the Highlands, there is grim talk of skirmishes between Scotland and England. We lost the city of Dunbar this week. Scottish defenders broke ranks and fled. The English have an army that is larger and better trained. To compete with them, we are going to need new recruits to pick up the spear, sword, sword and bow. bow. We must remake these shepherds into soldiers. Just hanging out. Right, we're gonna have to have... We will need many soldiers to defend our homeland. We'll start by creating villagers. Click your town center, then click the create villager button in the lower left corner. Oh, you need corner. to build houses. It takes time for a villager to appear. If your town center is selected, you can see the progress. Good job. A villager has appeared next to your town center. Now, create another village. You need additional housing to support your population. To build a house, another house. click a villager. Good job. Try building another house. Click the buildings button. Click the house button. Then click where you want to build them. Each house supports five units. You have the population too. indicator at the top of the screen shows your current supportable population. Other buildings are made just like houses. Try building a barracks. The barracks is a millet. Alright, you build if more than one the villager house. builds a building. You build we'll go up the barracks. Here. You help with that. You get help gather food. You also help gather food. Can I build far farms yet? I guess I guess not. Unless I need a mill to build a farm. I guess that would make sense. You go ahead and start on that. One, two, three, four. There's just five over there. It's good for now. Barracks complete. Now you can create soldiers. You go up here, you build the barracks. A mill. Then click you create militia. Selecting different buildings or units. Six. Gives you different options in the lower left corner of the screen. Keep building them houses, lady. That's one militia. Create three more, and you'll have enough soldiers to protect this area and win the scenario. Click the barracks and quickly click the create militia button hey. three more times. Oh no, no food. To make three soldiers in a row. Oh man, I used up all my food. That was fast. Alright, lady. Can we build a farm now? Yes, we can. Let's build some farms. Now that you have a few soldiers, you'll be able to defend this area against English attacks. I did it. Militias stationed across the border, the English have slowed their raids. But facing Longshank's army will be another matter. The wicked English king has yet to bring his famous longbows to bear. Our militias could only get us so far. We are going to need more advanced weapons. Well, then let's get those. How's it? This one? No, this one. Rumors creep in from the south of a giant who leads the forces of Scotland, his great sword driving through earth and man and horse alike. If this mythical knight can hold the English advance, it will give us time to develop the arms we need. Even now our smiths are forging swords and fletchers are making arrows and crossbow bolts. For your 
You go ahead and do that. You get those real fast. You will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English train. You build a dock. You're going to need to research some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. For example, they're gonna come from this way. Researching loom makes your villages hard to kill. To research loom. Click the town center. Sure, it's only 50 gold. Then click the research loop. Up here. Good. Researching technology oh, no, no, costs resources, right, well, fine. but improves your civilization. While you're researching it, you can put your villagers to work and use your military units to explore. Loom researched. How many villages do we have? We got. I thought there was a counter. We got 16 in population, but that's including these guys. So if there's eight of these, then we have eight villagers. Any more? New technologies and buildings become available when you advance to a new age. To advance from the dark age to the feudal age, you need 500 of food. Let's go get that tree out of the way. That's our wood. Our wood is looking terrible, so you go cut down that tree. food in forage bushes. Villagers can herd sheep. Now you have enough food to advance to the fuel age. However, you also need two buildings from your current age. You already have a barracks. So now have your villagers build a mill. I uh, built a dog. The so. mill is a drop-off point for food, so build it next to your food source. Good! You're on your way to the feudal age. We'll have to build a mill down here because we have these guys and fish. To arms! The English are making a sneak attack! Hey, hey, hey! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Over. Create some extra militia units at the barracks to replenish your forces. No, they're, they're fine. He's a little messed up. I need more. Oh, I can't. What do I need to actually succeed? I don't forgot. That's not it. Okay, well, all I need to do is advance, and we're done. I need to change the counter to somewhere that's not in the way. Come on! This scenario's done! Congratulations! Advancing to the next stage is the best way to improve your civilization. Near the minimap at the lower right corner of the screen is the idle villager button. Click locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Now that you're in the feudal age, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. There you go. Are we gonna repel again? Is that what's gonna happen? You know, we should have harvested the soldiers before they rotted. The English are attacking again! Teach them a lesson with your new men at arms! Upgrading to man at arms will change all your militia units They're to doing... more powerful men at arms. I've only got six. I thought I had eight. Uh, I guess they killed them. 
Where the hell did the... Oh, there he is. Hey! That's unnecessary. Why did you have to kill my villager? Warriors. 